My name is AJ Day. I'm from Lancaster High School, and this is my prep profile. AJ, you're a multiple sport athlete. What's it like to be in different sports, especially in a smaller school? Well, it keeps you busy. You're know, doing something all year round and makes you budget your time, so it's good for later in life. Oh, the best part is uh, you are a student athlete. You get 3.8 grade point average. Congratulations on that. What's, uh, do you take books on some of the trips, or how do you get your homework done? Staying up late. <laughs> I don't get much sleep, but you learn to live, live with it. Uh, you got your start uh, playing sports in the backyard. What was the first sport you remember doing? Um, my brother Brian and I played football in the backyard all the time. For some reason, we liked the Jaguars, so he pretended he was Mark Brunel. And I just caught his passes. <laughs> okay. And then uh, is there a sport you wish you could play? You haven't? Uh, hockey. Uh, I know. It's like football on ice pretty much. So. Did you skate at all? No. I have but that, head, but it just looks fun. But that would be the, yeah, especially the contact part, yeah. right? You like the check, checking guys into the boards would be yeah. kind of yours. Mm -hmm. You got a pretty good football career. What's the, the, the thing you're going to remember most about all uh, that time playing with the guys? It's hard to forget playing two times in the state championship game. Even though we lost, it was still, it's hard, it's hard to be playing in state in any sport. So. The double overtime? <laughs> no, single. Was it single junior year? Yeah. Yeah, and what was that like, the, the whole experience coming down the tunnel, and the, yeah. was it everything you'd imagined it would be? Yeah, it was pretty incredible. Walking out the tunnel and hearing the crowd is, makes you shiver. Have you ever been to a Badger college game there? Yeah, we have season tickets, okay. so I go to a whole lot of those. So you imagine when you're going to games, say someday oh, that'll be, I'll be down there playing. Yeah, and yeah. that was the goal anyway. Uh, for you, uh, do you have a favorite sport, or does it kind of depend what's in season? Uh, football is definitely my favorite. So. You're looking to play at the next level? Yeah, playing at lacrosse. Uh, that's playing right now, anyway. Okay. And then uh, you also have basketball and track. And how do the sports uh, com uh, compare? Or how do they, uh, I guess, how compatible are they? Or how do they work for you? Uh, I enjoy every sport that I'm in, but, you know, football, I've always just kind of have a special spot in my heart for that. A lot of activities, uh, big hunter and fisher. Yeah, I like to. Yeah, does that another advantage of being out in a smaller community and yeah, out in the country? For sure. A lot. I just get walk out my back door and I'm in the woods, so. Oh, that's that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? <laughs> nope. Uh, what's uh, for you? What's the best part about uh, Lancaster, the community? What are you going to remember most about high school when you're finished here? Just the support that you get from the community. If you're talking in terms of sports, like you have. The entire community is behind you, even if you know you're not very good, which we were never very good in basketball while I was here. And even then, you had a lot of people coming out to watch just because, well, maybe because they don't have anything better to do. But <laughs> they are there and they're cheering loud, so it's nice to have them there. You've had some success, and well, you mentioned basketball, but you've had the success in football. You feel that like you've been able to kind of balance things. You've seen both sides, as they say, the coin, the good and the bad. Yeah. And how's that going to help you? Well, it's good to get experience having success, which I had in football, but also not having success in how to deal with that, which I definitely had in basketball. I had an overall conference record of 2-38 and 38 while I was in high school, so we were below par, but it's good to learn from that kind of thing, how to come back from being knocked down. Still, I'm sure you had some good experiences, yeah. and there's yeah. more of the... It's not always about how you do. Yeah, more with the teammates yeah. and the practices and... Yeah. Do you ever do you have, had a being out in the country? Is there a bus trip or a trip that, that kind of stands out more from any of the sports? Yeah. Well, there was one, but I'm not going to try and tell the whole story. I just remember laughing the whole way there and the whole way back. So. Uh, where, where, where was it, too? Uh, Iowa Grant. Okay. <laughs> it was just, uh, what, what year was that? That no, was this year. Oh, this year. Okay. But uh, some things you have to keep within the team. As, as yeah. better, better. Or, or if I tried to explain it to you, you'd think I'm dumb. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, said you listed your favorite athlete is Walter Payton, yeah. old school. Yeah. What did you like about him? Uh, what you, I, did you have a chance to see some tape? Or? Yeah, he was just tough as nails. Uh, he would run over people, and you know, he, you could tell sometimes where he would get hit really awkwardly or whatever, and he'd be hurt, but he would never show it. He'd just hop right back up and run back to the huddle, and you know, just the way he ran. And, Relentlessly, it was incredible for me to watch. Uh, uh, you have a, a teammate who's been inspirational for you. Yeah, um, 
Well, he's actually just a teammate from last year. He graduated already, but it was Justin Orr because he, I actually learned a lot from him, whether he knows it or not. I watched him a lot, and he taught me more than I think he knows he did. What make, makes him special? I mean, what did, was it just his work ethic or no, his approach? He or? was really, really, really smart, just naturally, and the way he deals with adversity. Um, like last year, we were down against Cedar Grove Belgium in the semifinal game before we went to state. And he had fumbled twice, and they had scored on both, capitalized on both fumbles and scored touchdowns. But he didn't let it get to his head, and he went out there, and we ended up winning 49-48 to 48 at the end of regulation. So it was just the way he handled that and was able to come back from it was something that really speaks to his character. One of those things, it's never over until it's over. Yeah. He really experienced that. Yeah. And you've had some adversity in your life, too? Yeah. You could say, I guess. Everyone what, has. Yeah. Anything that uh, that's, do you want to talk about? or? Well, I mean, my mom's been re-diagnosed with cancer uh, in October. She's doing good, though, so, you know. And being They talk about being on a sports team is like a second family. Yeah. Is it help being in athletics yeah. and well, academics to help you cope? Yeah, it definitely. It's great to have somewhere to go after school where you just – put everything aside for two hours and maybe even three and just, you know, think about something else for once. What uh, What are you planning to do for college? Uh, any area that you like to go into? Or? Um, I'm going to major in exercise and sports science and hopefully become a sports psychologist. Uh-huh. So. Got to be something with sports so somewhere there? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And um, is, um, do you have a role model in particular? Yeah. Family, coaches, friends. I, I, I mean, everyone looks up to their parents. You know, just the, they model the way and you follow the way. So, my dad's taught me a lot more than I think he knows too. The, was your dad ever your coach? Yeah, he was my basketball coach until sixth or seventh grade, and my football coach all the way through fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. So, basically, only middle school. There's a lot going on now with uh, a college coach who's gotten fired for abusing players and have you ever had uh, what was it like for you growing up with youth sports did you see things where you go you wonder sometimes why people are coaching there oh no not really or you had pretty good experiences yeah overall I mean there was always a few you know tussles at practice every once in a while but that's just competitiveness so and uh, what what advice would you have for a freshman coming into school about school and sports? You're looking back in your time. Um, if you ever think maybe you should do something, don't hesitate to do it. Just do it because I guarantee you'll have fun with it. I had that experience with forensics. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it or not, and I ended up just doing it, and I really, really like it. So, um, Other activities? Do you have a favorite volunteer effort that you've been that participated in? Um, I help coach youth football and basketball. Um well, football in the fall, obviously, and basketball in the winter. So it's always kind of fun because, you know, the little kids look up to you to be able to show them how, how to do things. Do you remember when you were that age and who you looked up to? Is it kind of uh, ironic to be in that position? Or you, you, you ever, once in a while, look, oh, wow, that used to be me? Yeah, just remembering the way that I looked up to them made me want to set a good example because I know, obviously, how much they look up to me and them. And when they say student athlete, you're a student athlete, what does that term mean to you? Someone who does well in school and also competes in sports. You don't even have to do well in sports, but you just have to compete. It's about being able to budget your time well and get everything done. Well, AJ, you've had an outstanding high school career. Good luck this spring with track, and yep. thank you very much. Yep, thank you.